So what we have here is a demonstration of how um, buoyancy generation in a, in a fluid can generate a circulation. And it, it has an analogy to the sea breeze that we're going to talk about in class. And so uh, we're just going to go ahead and, and describe what's in here. So right over here, we have a heater. And over here, we have a cold spot. Uh, this is water in there, and the uh, uh, staff at the prep room here have put some little aluminum particles into the fluid so that you can visualize what's happening. And what you can see is that over the heater, you're generating some buoyancy. Uh, that's because the water is warming up, it's becoming less dense, and the water to the cold side of it is basically pushing in under it and uh, generating this circulation. You'll notice a number of interesting things about it. One of the things you notice is that where the buoyancy is being generated, you see a lot of small scale structure. And that's very typical for generating buoyancy in a fluid. So it's, these are basically like boundary layer eddies, which we'll talk about in the class as well. And you can see that the, the fluid is then um, rises up as the cold fluid comes in and displaces the warm fluid over the heater. And then it reaches the top of the tank and it drifts over uh, toward the cold side. Then when you see where it comes down, where the, where the fluid comes down, you don't see these kind of boiling, small-scale eddies. It kind of spreads out, it gets kind of lazy, and it subsides in a very, very kind of general way. And that's because it's cooling in a very general sort of way. Um, it is generating some negative buoyancy, but the generation of buoyancy is very diffuse. It's, it's downward uh, uh, net force. And you see this very diffuse flow going from the cold side to the warm side until you once again have the cold fluid dis displacing the warm fluid as, it's, as it uh, rises up over the heater.